Lettering is a huge part of what we as embroiderers do. We add monograms to towels and names to polos, and we create these embroidery files very quickly and easily by adding lettering elements to a design. To create a lettering element, I'm going to click on the lettering input method, and that is that little A. I'm going to click on it. Once I do, I get the basic properties for that tool on the property bar, so I can select a different alphabet if I chose. I could change the height. I could change the line that the letters fall upon, and I could change the connection between the letters. I also get this little kind of propeller icon, and that little icon represents the last stitch from the previous element, or essentially where the machine is coming from. Since I don't have any previous embroidery elements, it's coming from the design origin, so 00, zero X and Y. I can tell that I have that tool active for two th uh, reasons. I have the properties on my property bar, but the cursor itself has changed. I have a little A beside it. Now, anywhere I want, I just have to click on screen, and that's where I'm going to insert my lettering. And then I just have to type once that cursor begins to flash. To finish, I hit enter on my keyboard and the resize edit box comes up around my lettering. I have a few more properties available on my property bar and my lettering element is complete. Let's do that again. I'm gonna delete that and let's do that again. So I'm gonna select my tool, I'm gonna click on screen and I'm gonna type. Now, if I wanted a second line of type, I could hold control and hit enter and that would act as a carriage return. Nope. Spelling is not as optional as I would sometimes like it to be. And now I'm going to hit enter without holding control, and that will complete my lettering element. Now if I want, I can right click inside this resize edit box and go to properties. You can do the same thing by double clicking on it, and you'll see all the properties for my lettering element. And down here in the middle, is a lettering box. And I can select in here, I can delete, I can use this kind of like, honestly, kind of like a little mini word processor. I can type like normal, I can hit enter to be a carriage return, it's not going to complete the segment. I can make any change I want in here, including pasting from an email or a text document, so I'm not responsible for the spelling. So if somebody gets somebody's name wrong, I'm not the one that did it. Um, I pulled it from an email and I copied it right out of there and pasted it into here and I am not responsible for typos that way. Once I make those changes, I would hit apply and it would appear on screen. So let's, let's change this from international to embroidery. Now it isn't changing here until I hit apply and then you can see that it changes the actual lettering segment. Now, there are times that I would want to have access to a few more of these properties before typing things out, hitting enter, right-clicking, go to properties, and then access all of this. So what I can do in that case, let me delete this, I can click on the tool, I can click on screen, and without typing anything, I can hit enter, and that will bring up the properties for that. And now I can type whatever I want, I can paste whatever I want. I can change any of my settings, and then when I hit apply, it will appear on screen. So I can set all of this up, change my lettering, hit apply, and it will appear on screen.